Welcome back to Deck Night on the Rocks. And it's Homer's turn for top five. Just a minute. All right, everybody. Today is Homer's top five. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, ring that bell, and comment. Join us. Be a member. Be a member. Let's see what Homer has in store for us. As we drink our bourbon today, we're ready for your list, mister. All right, well, what are you drinking before we get into our list? I am drinking some Chattanooga. And I am drinking one of my top five, so I'll tell you when we get to it. Oh, all righty. Okay, so we're gonna go from least to the best. All right, I'm ready. So your number five is this one? Yes. Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. It's a good one. 94 like proof. That. It's got a, it's a nice, sweet, sweeter bourbon. It is. Every time I try it. It's a good, enjoyable experience. It is. I do like it. I like the one in my top five one that's not just a harsh, kick you in the face bourbon. I like this one. I like toasted barrels, period, though. Yeah. So the, the double oak stuff, you know, the, the mm. 1910, the Woodford Reserve double oak. Yep. It's good stuff. Yeah, and it's I, hard I, to start, toasted to finish. And I like uh, Elijah Craig, all their stuff. Everything they make is good. So I thought this would be a good top fiver. That is one, and that's one we keep on the bar very much. Yeah, if, if we can, we're, uh, next time we come across one, we're gonna have to get another one. Yeah, what's the proof on that? 94. 94, and yeah. how much can you get that for? <sighs> this is almost allocated. It actually is allocated. It is not it allocated. It is allocated. Really? It's, yes, it's hard to find. Um, I've turned I've turned them down a couple times because we had one. Well, we're getting we're to the, yeah, we need to get one. So it's anywhere between, uh, it's been a while, probably 79 to 99 dollars. I didn't know Elijah Craig's were allocated at uh, all. A lot of Elijah Craig's are allocated. Not the small batch, but the uh, barrel proof and the toasted barrel are definitely allocated. Yeah, toasted barrel <clears> is where it's at too. All right. all right, let's go to your number four. Which one are you going to go for? All right, four roses, small batch select. I like all the four roses. And uh, the single barrel, the small batch select, you know, either one of them could have been in here. But um, I really like the spice that goes with this. Um, I don't know what uh, batch this one is because I know that they're all different. Yeah, the four roses range a lot, don't they? Yeah, they do. They have all the OS, like OE, OB, OC. But it doesn't tell me on here which one. It's got a list of what they are, but it doesn't say which one this is. So, I mean, but I know some of you guys are going to tell me right off the top because you're big Four Roses fans. I know that some different ones are automatically different things, but small batch select, really good, strong, standard, uh, everyday bourbon that you can drink. What's it's got, it's got a good flavor. It's 104 proof, so it's not too strong, but not weak. It's got a good spice flavor to it. I love it. It's How much good. can you get that ranging? Uh, I think this is like a 79er. 69er. And Four Roses, is that an allocation also? There's not one. Not this one. Not this one. Like but the barrel, the couple. barrel strength is, um, single barrel barrel strength is, and they have a different, um, different, a couple different, they, they release special releases all the time that are hard to get. Four Roses is my favorite story That's of cool all place. of them. So if you haven't seen the story of Four Roses, if you guys are new to bourbon, look up your stories on all the bourbons. It's really cool in their history. And we have an old Four Roses video tag it right yeah. here and that kind of talks about the story a little bit too but four roses i enjoy too and it's one that we keep on the bar yes yes definitely we'll always have a bottle of four roses on the bar all right so what is going to be your number three big boy right there this big boy yep. uh, this big boy was in my top five yes this was amy's number i don't remember five i think four or five i think it was number five <laughs> But that sucker right there, for 130 proof, the drink's smooth. It's got good flavors all over the place. It's not It's not a um, harsh bourbon. Nowhere in my mouth feel from the front to the back says 130 proof, but it tastes good, has good flavor, but you can still feel it. And is that what you're drinking? That is what I'm drinking. That stag is in the glass. And stag, the allocation on that, can you get that anywhere? No, that is hard to find. It's been, uh, for the past few, I don't know, probably since November, it's kind of been all over the place here in East Tennessee, but it is usually pretty hard to find and allocated. This is definitely allocated and it can go, it's retail 69 and I've seen it up to 299 or higher. Which you should not purchase it No, at. I would pay like 150 for this. If, if we don't have another and I really wanted it, but I would try to stick to retail. Yeah. This is good, this is worth a little bit more. Some things are worth paying more for, this is one of them. And we'd like to keep this at a bar, but probably not going to. It's gonna be hard. It's harder to do. All right, and then your big boy of all, number one. Nope, nope, that's that's number two. 
One, two, three. Okay, we are at number two. This one is pretty impressive. Heaven Hill 17. And you know, guys, I know on our top fives, it's hard to, you know, some people like top five of all, top five allocated, top five everyday bottles. Well, this is top five everything we've ever tried and what we own. And we own this one. I got lucky, was lucky, extremely lucky. I was not gifted this, was not given it. I, Heaven Hill didn't send it to us. We have a bourbon channel that is not successful. Have not done that yet. None of, we haven't got any of that crap. This is all stuff that we either sat in line for, spent money to get in a line, phone call, phone line, or whatever. But and we did we, not actually sit in a line for this No, one. we got a, we spent money to get a phone line at North Shore. Oh, okay. So this one we got last Christmas at 249, and no, it's not sitting on the shelf, not getting drank. We are drinking it, we're just drinking it slowly. Yeah, and since it's out, does that mean we get to taste it tonight? We can. Because no that reason. is one he does not allow a lot of. I don't share this with me. This is like mine. This is mine for me. And her i don't share it much so if you've gotten Selfish there much? there are some people that have gotten a um sample in the mail so if you're that person you know you're cool all, all right. right and how much does that go for Did you we paid 259 for this and what's the alcohol content on that it's is 59.1 percent, so almost 120 proof and um, i've seen it up the secondary market to 1300 dollars on the secondary market which we will never pay for. Never. But this might be our only box we ever get. So you're 100 percent right because Save next time, it. next time we have an opportunity to buy it, I'm probably gonna pick something else that we haven't had than this. Even though this is your. Oh, it's great! It's amazing! It's, it's amazing! It's, it's it's unbelievable! Amazing! Yeah, amazing. and if you haven't noticed, we don't have very. I mean, I guess you have two allocations, but I didn't well, have very many. Three, I didn't have an allocation. There's online. three allocated bottles up here. Yeah, so um, not always does it mean it's great. No. So it doesn't. what is your number one, Homer? Slide her on over here. Another allocated bottle. It's not allocated. That's allocated. No, it's not. I thought it was. It's harder. It's harder to get than most, but it's not allocated. This is, and you guys will probably be surprised, but it's a Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit. It's empty bottle because I love it, and it's it's been easy to find as of late. When we, for us. For us. When I when we first started this bourbon journey, it was hard to find. We found our first one somewhere in Alabama, mm -hmm. and now we can find it here pretty reasonable. Um, it's about a $60 bottle, and the last one we got was a Camp Nelson F. This is a That's B. That's right. This is a warehouse B, so it's not special. I know that Now, can you taste the difference between it? I can't. It? I can't taste the yeah. difference. But I just like Wild, tur wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit. It's good. I don't even know if we're on the camera because I'm all angled up, but I couldn't have a top five without putting something Wild Turkey in it. I know I didn't put the Rare Breed in here. That's Amy's top five, number one, but Rare Breed is great. I like this more. And uh, I didn't want to put two wild turkeys in here. But well, Rare Breed is really good too. It's great. This is a hard thing to do, to just pick five bottles that you've had and say what's the best. Especially when we drink different shit every day. We don't drink one. We don't have one that we just drink every day. You know, so. Um, but Homer, this has definitely changed since last year. Oh yeah, I'd have to look and see what my five last was last year. Last year, I know you had your Blantons in there. And Blantons was in there. And that was your big hard one think, too. Yeah. I, so that's gone. I don't think any of these five were in there last no, year. No, I don't think so. Um, uh, your Four Roses might have been in there, but to this is totally different than what I remember you did. Rabbit Hole, Cave Hill, Weller, Antique 107, Old Forester 1910, Chattanooga Whiskey Bottled and Bond, and Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Yeah, I, I guarantee you it's completely different. So it just shows how much your palate changes over a year. It's not just palate changing, which I no. don't, I do totally agree with you. Yes, it changes. For me, it's changed a lot. It's changed mine a lot. But also availability, because I don't think when we did our last top five that I had these yet. I've well, had this well, one. But that's not... true. So, um, we haven't been doing this for a very long time, but our over the year we've gotten to try a lot more mm -hmm. different bourbons. So it's when you keep looking, just because you found your number one, keep looking and trying out those awesome bourbons out there. It's a little bit of a treasure hunt. So um, one thing that we disagree on, which I love, I love when we disagree about things. I don't want to be that this all oh, we, we talk. We disagree a lot. Uh, one thing I just I love that we disagree on is the fact that I think availability 
has a lot to do with deciding what your best bourbon is because this is extremely hard to get and it's extremely expensive. So I'm lucky if we have one. But if I was picking availability, that and this and probably this would not be on this. There would be th I'm, there would probably I did be not three know others. That was that allocated. Oh, it is. There would probably be three others on here right now. So um, I believe availability makes a big deal because if you can't buy it, who gives a shit if it's good? Because you can't have it. So. Mm, I say if you like it, you like it. Yeah, but you can't drink because you ain't got it. You can't still get it. Still doesn't change your palate and what you like. I know, but I still want to be able to drink it. But I, I don't disagree with her point of view. I just think that, I mean, she's right. If you like it, you like it. But if I can't have it, so I think um, maybe doing a available bourbon top five, too, would be a cool video. So that would change your whole outlook on uh, it? I'd probably keep these two in here, and then I'd pick three others okay. that weren't hard to get. Yeah. But, um... Well, it's still a good lineup. Yep. It was good. This is a good lineup. I like one. all of these. Yeah, it's just hard to keep these on the bar. Like, her top five wasn't as allocated except for this one, which would be a real good bar to have. I think this would be a good bar to have, oh, yeah. too. It's just really hard to have. I would definitely keep this one. I like Four Roses. It's not my favorite out of everything. I like um, Tricky 101. Not my favorite, though. I could pass. I obviously like the stag, and I really do like the... Um, Elijah Craig, but I would have put this in. This is definitely wonderful. It is great. Um, it would still have been behind my other, my five, top five, but it would have been up there. So good right. job. Top All five. Right. Let's Homer's, keep drinking tonight. Homer's top five. I get to try a little bit of this tonight. All right. We done? Yeah. Like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell. Join, become a member. See y'all next time.